today I have a tutorial packed with information on how to get your collagen back to normal or try to boost your collagen naturally. Uh, I, I have a lot of individuals telling me, you know Maria, I'm not ready to go through a plastic surgery or a college injection or Botox, what can I do? We are starting to lose our uh, collagen around mid-twenties, like it's starting to deplete, but we don't see the, uh, the effects until we hit early or mid-thirties. But the process already started about 10 years previously. We have to look at our system as a unit, everything. So today, I am going to go through step by step the things that I do, the things that I know that it works. So let's get started right now. If you're new in this channel, welcome. My name is Maria from Aglaya Aesthetics Online. Welcome. Uh, I'm so excited that you are here with me and that you're going to spend a little bit of time to get to know me, to see my style and learn about you. How can you take care of your, yes, if you follow me, you've seen this uh, uh, diagram before. So this is the uh, aging skin and this is the young skin. So you can see in the young skin, the fibers are nice and tight uh, and uh, your epidermis is uh, quite even, it's not irregular. But in the aging side, you can see in the aging side, the uh, fibers are breaking up and because they're breaking up, then we're starting to see the unevenness on the outside, which is the epidermis. This takes time. You, there's no such a thing as a magic wand, but if you do take your time, you will see results. I have another diagram here. As you look at this diagram, we have a lot of different uh, structures. Uh, your, uh, your fat cells, your dermis. The dermis itself is not only filled with uh, uh, your uh, uh, fibers that holds everything nicely tight, but also there is uh, intercellular fluid. And the intercellular fluid in this area needs a lot of water to move all the nutrients around the skin. So drink water. I know that I bring up the uh, water a lot and I do have a tutorial on detox water because water is so simple. It is so simple that people say, well, how can that work? Just water. Yes, get into the habit of drinking at least eight of these glasses minimum per day. So let's look at this diagram. I know I, I, I love diagrams. So we look at this, and then this one, and then this one. Do you see the difference? Can you see the difference? This is young, this is getting older, and this is getting older. How can we prevent this? We're all gonna get here, but why not go from here to here very gradually and look good for your age. Do you remember this diagram here? This fat here called adipose? Yeah. Well, that adipose, it's right this one here. So this yellow is exactly the same as this yellow. So what's happening as you get older, you're losing your baby fat and your baby fat will start to droop. Okay, so this is when you're young and as we get older, our fat starts to minimize and starts to droop. Slow this down by proper diet, by taking in your omegas, by eating fatty foods. And I will be talking a little bit more uh, about the different foods that you should eat to boost the collagen. Let's talk mainly now about lifestyle. And uh, one of the things that you have to be very careful is about smoking. It kills all your vitamin C. And the vitamin C, it what holds everything up. So you destroy the vitamin C with a smoke, 
then your collagen will start to uh, uh, deteriorate and uh, the collagen holds everything up even remember the fat tissue that I talked about before okay if the if the fiber starts to break uh, the collagen will starts to droop and then uh, if the collagen starts to uh, droop then your fat tissue will start to droop and that everything is going downhill so one other thing that will deplete your collagen is your UVR and uh, I know that a lot of individuals will say well let's slaughter up uh, your SPF yes and no because if you slaughter up the SPF there's several things one if it's too high there's too many chemicals and these chemicals can cause skin cancer so let's stay with a SPF 15 not higher than that and uh, keep on uh, applying it that's one thing but also you, we need vitamin D and if we apply all this SPF the vitamin D cannot come in and right nowadays especially because of the COVID vitamin D3 is so essential especially one outside and also supplementation so let's look at a little bit about the UVR here and I have a diagram you've seen this one here so we have UVA let me go back back here UVB and UVC the UVA goes it's a uh, it's the frequency is very low but the um, it's very long the rays is very long so it goes quite deep into the skin then we have the UVB it is the frequency is higher and does not go as deep but it's pretty damaging to the skin and then the, the UVC because of the ozone ozone layer hopefully it's not totally destroyed it does not go come through so it will not affect very much our, at all our skin you might say well Maria what do you use well I use mineral makeup and mineral makeup both men and women can use it and uh, it's a it's it's a powder it is a, it's a mineral it's natural and usually has an SPF of about 25 to 28 and at the same time it does uh, give you a, an evenness to uh, the skin so protection and also evenness so I so will talk now about different devices that you can use please you don't have to use them all but you can have a variety of treatments and slowly you can buy these little devices that uh, you're going to start seeing good results on your skin uh, in conjunction with your esthetician so you can go and see your esthetician uh, let's say maybe once uh, every month or six weeks or every two months depending on your budget and together with her treatments you can do treatments at home the first device that I, I would like to talk about now I have uh, uh, a, a professional galvanic machine but one of the proven machinery uh, or devices it is the galvanic the galvanic is a direct current and what it does it pushes the uh, water-based products deeper into the skin it has there's a negative and positive pull now the one that you can buy is called the, the new face and it's this little device and I will have uh, a little I will have a um, link below and it has a negative and positive and uh, what it does you will have a gel and you will go up and down your skin and you, of course you want to go always upwards so you go up and then gently slide down more pressure up and what you're doing it, it, it is a proven uh, current that it does what it says it does and uh, it is accessible now up to now you could only go to an esthetician but lately there's these little devices now they're not as strong as the, the professional devices but they do work really well in conjunction with a treatment that you can do it at the spa so as I mentioned before we are made up of about 25 to 35 percent collagen but when we get a certain age uh, that starts to slow down about one percent a year that is a lot so when we are starting hitting like a, a 30 31 32 30 and away we go we start seeing some effects of this uh, depletion and yes we can start using retinoids hyaluronic acids peptides glycolics all the stuff but it stays mainly on the surface you're dealing with the surface as I've been showing you the diagram we need to go deeper uh, into your 
fat cells and into your uh, uh, fibers and uh, muscles and bones and all that. Now, one a good machine is a radio frequency. So the radio frequency, uh, you work deeper into the bringing the temperature up to 42 to 43 degrees Celsius. So it is a quite high and you're bringing. So now you are stimulating the fibroblast into your skin. I also have uh, the Nibia lift here. I, I use, you can see the little things going on here and uh, there's different levels. Okay, so the higher you go, the warmer it gets, but it doesn't work unless you apply a gel. No oils, please. I do have a tutorial about the mistakes that people do about the radio frequency. Now, every machine has its own protocol, but I find that a lot of individuals are uh, using the radio frequency too much, too long, too often. And uh, so you have to be very careful. Uh, these little machines are not as strong, so you can use it more frequently. So the radio frequency, it works well, it goes deeper into the tissues, you're stimulating the fibroblast, and in turn, the fibroblast will repair and reconstruct and produce your collagen. Another treatment that I like to do on myself, now remember that all everything that I tell you, I do it on myself and uh, so but don't do everything at once like if i said to you do the radio frequency maybe once or twice a month that's it the next one that is a uh, mechanical it's let me see can I open this it's a uh, micro needling i like to use the one millimeter i know a lot of individuals will have the 0.75 or the 0.5 or 0.1 but I find the 0.1 or 0.5 doesn't do much but the one millimeter microneedling is good so basically you do this the one millimeter uh, let's say once a month and uh, you have to get your skin clean you do the microneedling I have a tutorial so please look at it the microneedling does those little channels into the skin like little holes and uh, it stimulates again the fibroblast and in turn when you stimulate the fibroblast you will stimulate repair and regrowth however you do need to give time between treatments because if you over stimulate you're gonna cause the opposite rose hip has uh, like a over 132 percent of vitamin c amazing so you can take rose hip uh, as a supplement for internal it has uh, your uh, daily over your daily requirements uh, for vitamin c i will start doing tapotment and by tapping you're actually again stimulating your uh, your fibroblast and i have also a tutorial on uh, osteoporosis of the face please look at it it is so good i'm going to start in the jawline one and then two three four five and then the neck i'm not going to do all of it because uh, for time's sake so when i do this it's not light it's actually you can really hear it okay so in this area here here and here this is area number one 30 seconds and what you will notice is that you're starting to see see pink that's what you want to do. It is so, it's not only good for your skin, it's also good for your bones so because you're going that deep. So that's one for 30 seconds. Then you go higher and you can go up in this area here, another 30 seconds. Then in this area here, your forehead, can you hear that? Another 30 seconds. In your scalp area, higher here, another, oh, it feels so amazing another 30 seconds then in the back occipital area another 30 seconds this will stimulate your whole body it's feeling amazing and then your neck okay and you can go down to your thymus another 30 seconds that is fabulous so use your oil and then your tapping do this every night a synergy of treatment is uh, cupping LED light and the facial muscle exercising. And I have every single tutorial on, on that. 
So when you do facial muscle exercising, please don't do only one area. Do the full face. And uh, however, I do have areas. So for example, you do the full face. And then if you have the marionette lines, work more in that area. But do the full face first and then the marionette lines. With that, you want to do your cupping. And uh, basically, you just do the cupping. And while you're doing the cupping, you're doing this way or doing it this way towards uh, uh, your lymph nodes. And again, I do have the procedure in a tutorial. What you're doing with the cupping, you're bringing the blood, the lymph, everything to the surface of the skin. And that is amazing. Uh, but please, before you do the cupping, apply a thin layer, very thin layer of the rose hip. With that, I like the LED light, the red light. And you can do it very quickly in the area. And I do have a tutorial on this. And the LED light is not as evasive. And you can do it once or twice a week. Okay. And the LED light, the red light, what it does is stimulates the production of collagen so you do your cupping with the led light and the exercising maybe you can well the exercising you can do it every night the led light every second night the cupping every second or third night so can you see all the synergy so you're stimulating different parts of your skin your adipose tissues and your muscles i do i do enjoy uh, the LED light is uh, very, very relaxing. The things that's very damaging, it's stress. And uh, we need to figure out a way to relax. And uh, it could be through meditation, it could th be through prayer, it could be like a breathing exercises. Because uh, when you have high stress, your cortisol, which is your hormone, is produced more. And the cortisol will cause the, the damaging and the destruction of the collagen fibers. So then you start aging. It, they do say stress is a silent killer. So let's try to control the level of stress in your life. Remember that uh, with relaxation, your sleep is also essential to have seven to eight hours and I know that when you're young you are just burning the candle on both sides but uh, if you get into the habit of uh, sleeping your seven or eight hours your body regenerates your your brain regenerates while you're sleeping so it's a, like a, a recharge so do not skip on that I know that there's a lot of gimmicks out there in products and uh, treatments and everybody are saying like in six minutes, in uh, two minutes, in no, no, it doesn't work that way. It is a progression of things that you do daily, consistently. So all the things that I told you up to now, I do them all and uh, not all at once. Uh, like a one day do this, one day that, and uh, exercising and stuff like that. Now, one of the things that I do use on my skin is the oil, the vitamin C oil. I do use uh, the, uh, uh, right now I don't have anything, but when I go outside, I do use uh, the mineral makeup to protect my skin. Another product that I use is the True Science. Uh, it has NRF2. And that is uh, it's a product that goes inside the skin and repairs the skin from within. It is an amazing uh, moisturizer. The link is below. It is, yes, a little bit more expensive than the normal uh, products, but I prefer to use a little bit of something that is good than buying a lot of garbage. And I don't use many products, but the NRF2 is what I use with all the different devices. So let's look at the diets. With diet, unfortunately, so many people are eating garbage. They, they go through the fast foods, they put whatever just to, to cut the, uh, the hunger pain. And, uh, but that is so bad. It's better not to eat than taking that type of food. So if you are hungry, 
take a bunch of nuts or seeds uh, get yourself some uh, uh, clean water and uh, and uh, stay that way until you get home so you can eat the proper foods and uh, because when you eat garbage junk food sugar processed foods all that you are causing additional stress onto your skin and your body causing your skin to age to break down the collagen and that's what you don't want to do create good eating habits and one of the things that uh, you should do is to drink bone broth um, there is a book here by um, Kellyanne uh, this is a really good book but you don't have to go and buy it bone broth Basically, you just need to go to the butcher and get uh, just bones or tail bones that have a lot of cartilage and you boil very, very on low, low for six to eight hours. Some people say 12 hours. And what's happening is that the cartilage uh, it seeps into the water and it forms like a gelatin. And then that gelatin, the body will absorb it. It breaks it down into collagen. And it's so good for your joints and your skin, your tendons. So it is a very good habit. Now, if you don't like the taste of it, what I do, and then the last 10 minutes, I will put some vegetables in. Uh, anything I can think of, celery, carrots, kale, all the stuff. And But just for a few minutes, and so all the nutrients and the minerals of the, the vegetables seeps into the, the, uh, the broth. So it is uh, not only good for you, but it's also very, very tasty. Um, another food, but for me, I like it, but some individuals don't like, it's uh, garlic. Garlic has uh, 33 compounds of, uh, of sulfur. And sulfur, that's why the, the, the strong smell of garlic. And it's the sulfur is actually an amazing compound to produce uh, and boost collagen production. Uh, another thing that you should do is uh, to start eating uh, protein rich foods um, because grass fed beef, uh, chicken, but has to be organic chicken, uh, salmon, which is very high in omegas, or egg whites high in amino acids just like uh, uh, glycerin and proline and uh, vitamin D so all that is so important for the synthesis synthesis oh, that word synthesis of uh, collagen you might say but Maria I am a vegan I don't need that stuff well things like uh, tofu are very high in uh, uh, protein, uh, beans, all the different kinds of beans and uh, intake beans with, uh, there's different kinds of beans, uh, with uh, rice, brown rice, wild rice, that will make complete protein. However, uh, up to now they have said that uh, using the animal product you will see better results in the production of your collagen. Omega-3s and uh, the American diet especially is very low in omegas and uh, if you don't have omegas your skin will start drying out uh, your hair gets brittle your nail starts to peel back so omegas are essential and I will show you some of the supplements that I take but uh, some of the omegas that uh, you can eat as in food format are salmon uh, very very high trout very high especially the skin uh, walnuts chia seeds flax seeds sunflower seeds are all uh, building blocks for collagen and so when I am uh, hungry that's what I reach for my nuts and uh, my uh, the seeds are so good uh, olives and olive oil is so good for as a as a, an omega I take my time in really explaining everything in detail so you have the full story so you're not just uh, doing a skin treatment and or just drinking water because you're made up like you're you are made of cells and the cells make up tissues and the tissue makes up organs and these organs make up systems and all the systems make up you so you have to go back to nourish each and every individual cell so let's look at uh, uh, the leafy greens or the green vegetables uh, such as uh, your kale, your spinach, your bok choy, your gaylan, uh, broccoli, 
all these broccolini these are all very high in vitamin c and are also high in folic acid and folic acid is so essential for the division of cells especially if you are pregnant because you're developing a human being inside of you but if you're not if you're not pregnant you are daily dividing and reproducing each and every individual cell if you don't have the good food that cell will is missing it's missing the good food to produce a good cell let's look at the, the red uh, fruit and vegetables so such as uh, the red pepper uh, the carrots and the sweet potatoes the watermelon the grapefruits and the papaya they're all incredible to restore the collagen in your body and in your skin the fruit that are very high in vitamin C is that kiwi is one of the highest all the citrus fruit um, are very high in vitamin C like the grapefruit uh, I like the red ones you know like they're so yummy and sometimes I put a little bit okay just a little bit of brown sugar just so that tastes a little bit better and uh, these are so high as uh, the anti uh, um, to to help to fight the free radicals so it's very high in antioxidants the berries such as the blackberry the blueberry the raspberry all so high so high in uh, vitamin C so I mentioned before that I'm going to tell you a little bit some of the uh, supplements that I take. So the first one that I take is the NRF2 and everything there's a link below. The NRF2 it's uh, a product that helps to produce your own natural antioxidants to fight the free radicals. Okay, so it helps my body. It gives my body the tools at, to, to repair itself. So it is incredible. The next one that I have is the Omega. Uh, and again, there's a lot of different kinds of Omegas, but this Omega is one of the best one for me that I found, that I did my research. And you know already what Omegas are good for. Probiotics, this is a probiotic that I use. I have a tutorial on probiotics and why you have to have a good gut. The gut is the first brain, so if you are not eating properly and you have not have a good uh, microbiome it will show throughout your body and your level of energy so the gut is your first brain so this is first and this is second uh, another thing that I do like to use is that the EMP now you don't have to take any of this stuff but I do have links below uh, the ENP has uh, the essential um, vitamins and minerals and it promote mental and well-being this is also these four are the ones that I take every day plus the vitamin D so I don't really believe in a diet diet you die with a diet but you have to have a lifestyle that you know that you have to eat properly but another thing that I do is intermittent fasting and please do not uh, start saying oh I'm gonna do it because Maria is doing it do your research but uh, the American lifestyle we uh, have a tendency to overeat and overeat junk food and so we need to step back so what is intermittent fasting but between 4 and 8 that's when I eat and then after that I just drink water and herbal teas that is called intermittent fasting now sometimes I do break my intermittent fasting that might start eating at 1 p.m. that is fine but if I can push as far as I can that's when I really am impressed with myself now as you get older uh, your uh, your stomach has uh, has problems in digesting uh, collagen or digesting protein so how you can build that up is by drinking a glass of water with two tablespoons of raw apple cider vinegar okay. and you drink that and uh, that it can be done during your intermittent fasting and what you're going to be doing happening is building up your stomach and the juices in your stomach so then when you eat your protein or the collagen you'll be able to break it down and absorb it 
Okay, so up to now, I've been talking about the foods that you can eat, but I did not talk very much about the things that you should not eat. Uh, we have a tendency to eat a lot of processed foods, sugars, and, uh, and, and salt, and chips, and uh, fast foods. These foods will cause inflammation. And uh, there's a recent evidence uh, that has been found that the consumption of advanced glycation and product will cause additional inflammation. And uh, some of the inflammation could be uh, diabetes and uh, uh, autoimmune disorders and even cancer. So if we can stop eating these foods, we can start feeling better. So eliminate those foods and intake the good foods. Now, don't get me wrong. I sometimes eat chips because I enjoy them once in a while. But below, I will put some of the foods that are high in A, G, E's and why these foods are bad for you. Now, not only the foods that are high in A, G, E's are bad, but also the way you cook them. So if you cook them really quickly, just like through uh, uh, a barbecue or microwaves, <laughs> don't get me wrong, sometimes I use some microwaves, but anything that you can cook the foods quickly, you are causing the molecular structure to change and that is not good. So below I will have the list of foods that are very high in AGEEs and the foods that are low in AGEEs, which you already know, and the mythology on how to cook them. Now, if you do that occasionally, the body will able to fight it off, no worries. But if that is something that you daily, you eat uh, french fries and uh, uh, burgers that are not with good food, uh, with a uh, high, with bad oils, then you're going to slowly degenerate and uh, grow old faster. So again, I will have a, a, a list of good foods and bad foods, which I already mentioned to you. So, with a conjunction of uh, good supplementation that I mentioned, uh, eating properly, drinking your uh, water, herbal teas, uh, meditating and sleeping well, uh, with a conjunction with a different machinery that I mentioned, I promise you that within the next couple of months, you will see a major change in your skin, vitality, and energy. Thank you for watching and hanging out with me today. I really, really appreciate you're here until the end. Do share this information with your loved ones and with your friends. Remember to subscribe, hit that bell so you're here with me when I'm on, and I will talk with you very, very soon. Thank you, Lily.